Hi everyone, hiking group. I have had some questions about how to use the Google map that I created. It's actually under my Maps. So the first thing that you would need to do is click on that link. You will have to be logged in with your Google account. If not, it will prompt you to log into your Google account. I don't believe you can use it with any other account besides a Google account. So you might have to create one if you don't have one. So once you've done that and um, the next time that you go to uh, Google Maps, on your computer and then I'm also going to show phone so I'm at Google Maps then I'm going to click on this triple bar which is the menu and I'm going to go to your places and this map is going to be saved now from now under on underneath your Google account in the maps and here's the hikes Great Falls a couple things um, this says this map has too many layers to view in Google Maps view in my maps so just go ahead and do what it says and it will open up. You'll notice that only the ones that are checked are going to show up. So whichever last ones that you had checked are going to show up and you can put check marks in the ones that you want to see or you can put check marks in all of them. Let's say that I wanted to um, get to Lionhead Butte. I can click on Lionhead Butte, read about it, and then I can click on View in Google Maps. Once I'm in Google Maps, you'll notice that you can get directions right here. And it will then guide you from your starting point, wherever that is. If it's Great Falls or your current location or however you set yours up. And then now you can get step-by-step -step directions on how to drive there. One last little thing, again, about the hikes. Let's go to the triple line. Your places, back to the maps. Hikes Great Falls, view in my maps. Is that you can change the base map. So you can scroll um, down here and underneath the base map, if you don't like the um, satellite that I originally set it up on, you can go back to the, the um, default Google type map if you prefer to look at it that way and there are other ones too you could even look at it by terrain if you like which will show you um, the ups and downs as you scroll in you'll be able to see more of the uh, the ups and downs that you'll be going to on that hike in order to see the trail however you'll want to keep this on satellite because then you can scroll in and take a look at the satellite and see an actual image and as you scroll in you will be able to see the actual trail which I find uh, kind of helpful so then you'll be able to see the trails and the roads um, in a real photograph type way all right, let's switch to the phone and see how it works on a, on a phone. I'm using an older iPhone, so if you are on a Google phone, an Android phone, or a newer iPhone, it might be slightly different, but you should be able to figure it out. The first thing that you'll need to do is load Google Maps onto your phone. And uh, if you are clicking on the link when you're on your phone, you'll notice that you'll have to log into your Google account. Um, if you haven't already. So it has to be the same account that I shared this map with you. So um, we're going to click on the Google Maps and uh, this is going to be what the Google Map looks like but we need to get to the hikes map and to do that we're going to click down here where it says saved and we are going to scroll down to the bottom where it says maps. We're going to click on maps because these are the maps within the app. This is not the My Places maps and we need to get to the saved maps. So again, if you have any saved maps from your app, they're going to show up here, but we need to get to the My Maps area, which is here, and then go ahead and open up the hikes map. Okay. Now, um, before on the computer, we noticed that the 
menu is down the side. On a phone, it's really difficult to put too much on here. So we have to click on View Map Legend. And then this is going to bring up your list that you can check and uncheck depending on which hikes you want to take a look at. And then we can just hit this back arrow to get back to the map. And now we're taking a look and we can pinch and zoom and we'll be able to do exactly the same kind of thing. We can click on a place if we want and find out and get directions to how to drive to that particular place. So we can click there and once you click on one of these place marks you'll see that here's the directions and it will give you guided directions or you can click start if you're in the car and it will navigate you to how to get to that trailhead. So I hope that help you um, m use the map that I gave you and as always let me know if you have any questions.